Well, good morning, guys. Today's project is back on the beach buggy, and it is going to be getting some steering work. Now, this one of the two that we got, the blue one has a support bar, but this one did not. So, what I'm going to be doing is I got my uh, one inch tubing over here, got my bender all set up, and I am going to make a hoop coming from the pan up and above it because I got to be able to take this out. There'll be a, a plate here, a couple of bolts. So I can unbolt that and remove it, but it's going to have a support bar underneath there. So I got the brakes all, uh, the hydraulics all together here. So we're able to stop, but we're not able to steer. And then after the steering gets done, got to work on getting the motor in there. I'm just going to take the motor out of, uh, that's the 40 horse and Franken buggy, pull that out of there and put that in the beach buggy so get that all going one issue i did see because uh as you know if you've been watching the videos i got some boots for here but look at underneath there these axle housings are riding on the horns there there is no way to get them underneath there so i've got to put I'm thinking maybe a quarter inch or three eighths. I got two uh, different thickness plates, but I'm going to put a spacer under there and give me more room so I can put those uh, nice new axle boots on there. So a few things to do, and I'm going to get busy working on. Bring you guys along with me as I uh, progress. I'll bring you back. Yeah. Let's get this beach bu buggy running. All right, we'll see you in a bit.
Okay, after a little bit of uh, tubing bending and a little bit of tweaking, get the angles right. That is about how it's going to sit. I think I'll be dropping it down maybe just an inch, inch and a half. Be able to fit the plates in there and some screws. Got that guy sitting in there to make sure I'm staying square. But yeah. I'll get those plates on there, get it secured with some bolts, and then I'll weld it down to the pan. And uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna hold the the steering system to the car. Pretty awesome. All right, let's get a little bit more work done here. Well guys, that's it for today. I got the steering wheel, steering column all mounted. And uh, yeah. This thing now has steering. Now tomorrow, I am going to work on lowering the rear suspension there. Put a little, little plate underneath, well where is it? Right here. I put about three-eighths 
spacer, maybe a quarter inch, three eight spacer in there. I was looking at the sand buggy and because it has the same type of boots that I'm putting on that beach buggy and sure enough, there's a quarter inch plate there spacing that down to give it room for the boots. So that's what I was thinking I would do and then saw it done to another buggy and it's like, okay, I guess it'll be okay. So that's what I'm gonna do in the morning. Fix up this suspension a little bit and get the boots on here. And uh, might get motivated and pull the motor out of there, throw a motor in here. I'd like to drive it around and see if the transmission even works and you know, work, work, work. Anyways, guys, until tomorrow, I'll see you later. Well, good morning, guys, and it is the next morning. I am now working on putting a little plate in here to get a little bit more room for the axle boots to get up underneath here. So, got the wheels and tires off and got it all jacked up on jack stands. What I need to do is... Uh, now compress compress that uh, suspension so I can see I got some uh, this is 3 8 plate here flat bar here cut little sections of that off and stick it there but uh, let's get an idea how much uh, that's gonna lower that suspension there so let's uh, let's do this Does it involve a chain here Basically, you chain the car to the uh, jack there and use the jack to compress the spring. I think I'm going to end up using quarter inch because that is quite a bit. As you can see there, after compressing the suspension, I got plenty of room there for the boot now. And this 3 8 doesn't even fit underneath here. So. I think I can use about half of that. Maybe 3 16 So, let me get another piece. This is three six. Let's uh, let's compress it down onto that and see how that sits. That is down tight on that. 3 16 plate and I think that will probably work out just fine now with the boot on there I see a little leakage here Be le making less of a mess there if I got a boot in there to catch that I'm not sure if that's even supposed to be leaking that much this side's leaking also I might have to dig into that transaxle and put some seals in there. I don't know yet. But I do want to get those boots on there so it's not making such a mess and uh, it'll look much better. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go with that 3 16 And uh, well, let's go get one of the boots and, and check it out.
That's still a little tight. Still does not give much clearance there. You see, it's. I think the ticket's gonna be quarter inch. Let me dig up some quarter inch, set that in there, and we'll see how that looks. Yeah, I do not want that wearing out and then you get a bunch of sand and dirt in there. There's a reason you have the boots there, and that's to keep all the crud out of the workings of that uh, that joint there, that axle joint. So, okay, let's try quarter inch. Now, this is a little quarter inch material here. It does slide right in there right and fine. Still a little pressure on the boot, but let's pull this out of here. And there seems to be plenty of room under there for some flex there. So I am going to end up going with the quarter inch. I think that's going to look okay. So. I'm going to fabricate a couple of pieces to get welded in there. I'm thinking I will probably create a little lip coming up also here. I do create a little lip coming up just so we don't have that plate falling off there. I mean, I've seen straps that go over the plate so they don't fall off there. I'm just going to create a little wedge type system that uh, it'll drop down in there when the suspension tops out. So I'm going to do a little fabrication work and uh, bring you guys back. We'll see how this works out. As you can see now, we got that space down a quarter inch there. And now there is plenty of room 
underneath each of these axle housings to put the new boots. So let's go ahead and install those boots and uh, see how this all looks. We'll get it done right now. Well guys, I feel like I'm doing a little bit of sewing here. We're uh, closing this up, stitching it closed with nuts and bolts here. What I found is it's a little bit easier if you go ahead and prep everything and get it ready to go in. I'll get this side buttoned up here. We'll put the clamps on there and these boots are looking sweet. All right, let's get it wrapped up. Well guys, that's it for today. And I tell you what, I like the way this is looking after that little bit of squat the suspension down a little bit. And uh, the angle of those wheels is much better. I was able to uh, fit the boots in there. Those look absolutely sweet in there. We got it so the steering works, except for that bushing. I'm gonna have to, uh, I think I have one around here. If not, I'm gonna have to pick a bushing up. But uh, this thing is about ready to put the shell back on. I wanna put that body back on and uh, see about these seats here. I am not sure if I can still get some uh, seat covers for these. I'm hoping I can, because those are pretty cool. Got plenty of room in there for the wider passengers. <laughs> so as long as I can uh, get some seat covers for that, and then of course I need to get the body in there. So I can see uh, just how high I gotta mount these. That's uh I mean I don't think I'm gonna have to jack them up too much there if I do but if I have to make some seat mounts I'll go ahead and do that I don't like that layback look we'll just put that back a little bit there okay don't lay down ah, and then the wind blows all right guys well it's starting to look like a car I said I want to put this on there tomorrow the body the gas tank Somebody did a little modification so it actually fits inside the, the hood there. But uh, we looked in it, it doesn't look too rusty in there. But uh, the outlet, uh, this was a little gummed up here. Yeah, that does not look good there at all. So, I don't know if I can run a little drill bit through there and clean that up or whether I can order a new part for that, but the tank itself didn't look bad inside there. I might throw some muriatic in there, muriatic acid in there and flush it out, but uh, yeah. Get the gas tank on there. We got to put a uh, fuel pump. The 40 horse is going to go in this thing. It does have a busted windshield, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I absolutely love these tail lights. I'm hoping I can find lenses for these. Because I think the back end of this thing is looking sweet with those tail lights. And we gotta find the light bulb for the other front light. So yeah. We'll get this thing all together and running. And what a fun little car it's gonna be. So Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I'm done. Sunday afternoon. Time to relax. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to put this uh, body on it tomorrow. And uh, maybe get the motor in there. I'd like to really see if this transaxle is worth the darn. And I'll know after I put some power through it. So, <laughs> Anyways, guys, have a great evening. And we'll see you on the next one.